hey guys welcome back if this is your first time stopping by my channel welcome 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 i'm Anne. i do sewing diy fashion and lifestyle videos so if you love those types of content please go hit the subscribe button and then click on the notification bell to turn on your notification so you get notified whenever i upload similar videos just like this one okay so in this video i want to show you guys how to make an infinity dress a convertible dress a multi-way dress a hundred and one dress whatever name you call it it is this dress right here and i want to show you guys how to make it it is so versatile and it is such a great addition to your wardrobe so if you want to know how i made this dress please keep on watching <music> For this tutorial, you'll be needing your African print fabric and you want to go for something that looks the same on both the wrong side and the right side. You'll need your zipper, some pins, your measuring tape, your fabric marking tool. I just have a fabric chalk here, your scissors and of course a matching thread. So we basically need rectangle pieces to put this dress together. It is that simple. So the first rectangle you want to cut out is for your skirt piece and you want to cut out one rectangle for your skirt and the width of the rectangle should be your waist circumference times three and the length of the rectangle should be the preferred length of the skirt you want plus half an inch for joining to the waistband and one inch for aiming the skirt so that is about 1.5 inches. The second rectangle you want to cut out is for your bust strip and you need two rectangles for that. The width of each rectangle should be a minimum of 70 inches plus 2 inches for seam allowance and the length of your bust strip rectangle should be your bust circumference divided by 4 inches plus 2 inches seam allowance as well. Lastly, we want to cut out our waistband and we need two rectangles for that. The width of each rectangle should be your waist circumference plus 1 inch overlap plus one inch seam allowance and the length of the waistband should be about two inches plus half an inch for joining to the bust strip and half an inch for joining to the skirt that is one inch seam allowance okay i hope you guys understand all i have said just take a good look at the images i provided and cut your rectangles according to the specifications and you'll be fine okay the first thing we want to do is to modify our bust strip and we want to take that rectangle and cut half one end of that rectangle at an angle so we have a very nice tapered end to that rectangle and then the next thing we do is to hem that rectangle on both the width that is the longest sides and also the tapered end we want to hem that but we are going to be leaving the straight edge opposite the tapered end unhemmed because we are going to be joining that to the waistband okay and we want to do that for both the bust strips we are also going to be modifying our waistband because i want the part that falls on the back of the dress to have a very nice slant to it so what i'm doing right now is looking for the middle of that waistband and also where the side starts because I'm going to be cutting a slant from the side to the middle of the back, okay? Now that the middle and the side has been marked on my waistband, I am just going to go ahead to cut my waistband at an angle from the side seam to the middle of the back. To prepare our skirt, we want to gather the skirt up. So to gather the skirt, we want to sew two parallel running stitches across one of the longest side of the rectangle. That will be the top of our skirt. You sew your running stitches at the longest stitch length that is available on your sewing machine. Okay? So to gather the skirt up, you want to separate your top two threads from your bottom two threads and then you hold on to your top two threads and just pull the fabric onto the thread and it's just going to gather, okay? The next thing to do is to place your gathered skirt right side up and then take one piece of rectangle for your waistband and place that right side to the right side of your gathered skirt making sure that the slanted edge is facing downwards and you just find the midpoint of your 
waistband and place that to the midpoint of your gathered skirt and just match up the seams and also guys remember that we have an overlap on the waistband so you want to mark where your overlap starts and make sure that your gathered skirt stops at that point before your overlap you do not want to sew your gathered skirt over your overlap part okay enjoying this video so far guys smash the like button and also share to friends and families and people that might benefit from this video after sewing your waistband to your skirt it should look like this and the next thing we want to do is to sew your bust strip to the waistband So we'll be overlapping both bust strips by about 1.5 to 2 inches from the middle of the skirt. So I've placed my bust strip right side facing the right side of the skirt and the band. And now I am just measuring 1.5 inches away from the edge of the bust strip. And I'm placing the beginning of that 1.5 inches on the middle of my skirt. Now I'm just pinning that in place. And then I go to the other edge of my skirt that falls at the side and I have marked my side seam on my waistband already. So I am placing that edge on my side seam. So the strip doesn't go past the middle of your skirt and the side of your skirt. Okay, it doesn't go over to the back. And now there is some excess fabric and i'm just going to pleat that in the middle of my bust strip and also pin that in place and you just want to repeat this for your other bust strip you guys should just watch what i am doing and you guys will understand what is going on okay so after overlapping your bust strip and pinning that in place you just want to go ahead to sew that down to the waistband by about a quarter of an inch next you take the other waistband the second rectangle for your waistband and you want to place that right side to the wrong side of your bust strip because right now your bust strip is facing wrong side up so you want to place that waistband right side to the wrong side of your bust strip and just match it up with the first waistband and you want to match up the middle and also match up the slant that we made earlier on and you want to pin that down and then you sew that edge by half an inch and remember to leave half an inch before your overlap because we are going to be tucking in the zipper when we go in to sew our zipper okay enjoying this video so far guys smash the like button and also share to friends and families and people that might benefit from this video After sewing that down, this is what you should have. And I also went ahead to top stitch my seam allowance to my second waistband. And the next thing we want to do is to close up the skirt. So we want to take our skirt and just place that rectangle right sides facing each other with equally and then we want to mark where our zipper starts and stops on our skirt and from that point you want to sew down to the end of that rectangle that is the back seam to the end of that seam by half of an inch and then you attach your zipper after sewing that and now this is what you have Now we'll work on the waistband. You want to fold in your seam allowance on both rectangles for your waistband and then fold both rectangles right sides facing each other and then you sew at your seam allowance leaving your overlap. Next, you cut down your seam allowance on the waistband as close to the stitching as possible and then you turn that waistband to the right side. You can make use of a tweezer just to make sure you have a very sharp corner. I 
after doing that this is what you should have and you guys see how the waistband has a really nice curve to it going from the side of the dress to the middle of the back next you turn your skirt to the wrong side and fold in the seam allowance on the second waistband and pin that down to the skirt making sure you are covering the seam lines of the first waistband You want to do this from one edge of the waistband to the other edge. The next thing you want to do is to turn your dress to the right side. And then we want to do a technique called stitching in the ditch. What you want to do is to stitch the waistband on the wrong side. That is your second waistband that you just pinned down. You want to stitch that down from the right side by stitching right where the waistband the first waistband ends stitching right in the seam lines this allows for you to have a very neat finishing your seam won't show on the right side of the dress okay i'm going to show you what it looks like after doing that So guys, this is what you would have, a very neat finishing on the right side of the dress and also on the wrong side. And we also have our overlap here and what you want to do is to sew an hook and eye on the overlap so you can hook that in place after zipping up your skirt. And lastly we want to go ahead to hem the bottom of the skirt. And guys that is it, our infinity dress is ready to wear. Like I always say guys, if you stay true to the end of this tutorial, you are amazing. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate you guys. If you have any questions, please write that down in the comment section below. If you have anything to say to me, leave that in the comment section. And also, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and share to people that might benefit from this video. Thank you until I see you in my next video. Bye guys.